What is a zero matrix? That's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson. For those of you that just want to know what a zero matrix is and don't care for any other details, a zero matrix is just a matrix whose entries are all equal to zero, and such a matrix is sometimes called a null matrix. So this is an example of a zero matrix. Here's another example of a three by one zero matrix. All of its entries are zero. That's what a zero matrix is. But before we go, let's quickly explore a couple of interesting points. How similar do you think the behavior of a zero matrix is to the old zero we're familiar with? Of course, we know that if we multiply any number by zero, we get zero. Four times zero is zero, negative two times zero is zero, zero times zero is zero. Do you think that zero matrices work like this when we use them in matrix multiplication? Let's check out an example. Let's say we have this three by two matrix. We'll say it's got entries of one, two, three, four, five, and six. Nice, beautiful matrix. And we'll multiply this by a two by two zero matrix. What will this be equal to? Well, for our first entry, we multiply one by zero and add that to two times zero. That gives us zero. Then for the second entry, we multiply one by zero and add that to two by zero. Again, that will give us zero. And you could probably do the rest of this yourself pretty easily. We're going to end up getting zeros for every entry. And indeed, as you probably figured out, any time we multiply a matrix by a zero matrix, we get another zero matrix though it won't necessarily have the same dimensions as the zero matrix we multiplied by. So that's pretty neat. Zero matrices do work like the zero we're familiar with in matrix multiplication. And of course, the old matrix multiplication rules do still apply. In order to multiply two matrices together, the first matrix must have as many columns as the second matrix has rows and the resulting zero matrix will have as many rows as the first matrix in the multiplication and will have as many columns as the second matrix. What about addition? How does that work with zero matrices? We know that if we add zero to a number, the number is unchanged. Four plus zero is four, and it works the same way with subtraction. Negative two minus zero is negative two. Eight plus zero minus zero is just eight. Do you think the zero matrix works like this with addition and subtraction? Let's quickly check out an example. Remember that to add or subtract two matrices, they need to have the same dimensions. Let's say we're adding this two by two matrix with entries of one, two, three, and four to this zero matrix with entries, of course, of zero everywhere. And we can see very quickly by definition of adding matrices that our first matrix in this case is going to remain unchanged because we'll add one to zero, giving us one, add two to zero, giving us two, and so on. Three plus zero is three, four plus zero is four. And this would work the same way if we had changed this plus sign to a minus sign. One minus zero is one, and two minus zero is two, and so on. So hopefully you think that's pretty neat. I know I sure do. Again, a zero matrix is a matrix whose entries are all zero. And we've seen here how it behaves pretty similarly to the zero we're familiar with, just with matrices. So it's pretty cool. It's also sometimes called a null matrix. And that should do it. So I hope this video helped you understand what zero matrices are. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. Blind as bats, it's a sight to see. Choirs in four-part disarm.